Hey Simmers, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Sims 4 Horse Ranch trailer and Sims Team article, which both dropped yesterday. There's a lot packed into both, so we're going to go over some of the highlights and I'm going to share my thoughts and what I've found throughout the video. First of all, how exciting is this? Seriously awesome. This is the main screenshot and there is so much to go through here from a new building, which is your stable, to all the horses and the clothes, animals, the nectar making. Seriously, seriously, so much to get into. Oh my gosh. So the most obvious new addition to the game is, of course, horses. Simmers have been asking for horses in The Sims 4 for years as in like since release so i'm super excited to see that they're finally making their debut in the trailer we see horses being ridden and groomed we'll be able to customize our horses and create a sim in a variety of ways including their coat color main style and saddle now this is a great way to make our horses unique and reflect our own personal style and they will have their own unique personalities. So, and according to the blog post, we'll be able to breed horses, which is pretty exciting. In addition to horses, we've got two new animal friends, the mini sheep, which is freaking adorable. <laughs> and the mini goat, which is also just way too cute for words. These little guys are sure to be a hit with players of all ages um, and the butt of many jokes. I am so sorry. Uh, we'll be able to shear the sheep, by the way, and milk the mini goats to earn money in the game. I'm sniffing out a new Rags to Riches channel challenge here. So the trailer also showed us two new community lots, a bar, and also equestrian center. And there's also going to be a stable, which um, you can kind of see here in this. The bar looks like an absolute fantastic place to hang out with friends. I mean, you can see here, you've got all of your Sims horses out of side of the bar. I love how the bar is like a barn, which is pretty cool. We've got so much new stuff here. There's uh, yeah, new wall coverings, new windows, it looks like. Just seriously so much. We got the new bar sign there. Inside the bar, that I swear that looks like my Sim. I don't think it is, but that just so resembles my sim. <laughs> my sim self, that is. But yeah, there's loads of stuff here in the bar. You got the bar itself, new furniture, that lamp lantern there is new, new wall hangings, a ladder that's a new color, I believe. Um, just so much, so much new stuff. That rug is brand new. And then, of course, we've got a horse in the, in the bar, which why not? I mean, it's a barn, so horses are welcome. I... Yes. Evidently, this horse likes music because we also have a new stand-up... I keep calling this a refrigerator. It's a stand-up piano. I did this in my other video earlier this week where I was talking about this a screenshot similar to this and that was showing this piano and I kept calling it a refrigerator. The amount of times that I had to edit that section <laughs> of the video was ridiculous. So yeah, we have a new stand-up piano which is awesome. Now the stable over here is where we're gonna be able to take care of our horses and prepare them for competitions. The equestrian center is where we're going to be able to do competitions with our horses. Now I believe, I'm not 100% certain, but it looks like this building is a rabbit hole, which is unfortunate considering it's so huge, but I kind of understand the building itself being a rabbit hole. I wish it wasn't, but but I can understand that it is. The trailer showed us a few competitive events that we'll be able to participate in, such as show jumping and racing, and that's all at the Equestrian Center. These events are a great way to show off your horse's skills. Winning events will earn players rewards, such as simoleons and plaques, and of course it also looks like an absolute ton of fun uh, to do. And you can see here, back here, we've got this huge huge horseshoe topiary. I'm not certain if that's just a build buy item or if it's like the, the reward for your horse placing first. If that's the reward, that would be freaking awesome. But if it's just a build buy item, it's still pretty cool. Another returning feature is nectar making. This is a long-awaited feature that was last seen in The Sims 3. 
This is a fun way to make some extra simoleons as well. And according to the official blog post, we'll be able to make nectar with a variety of ingredients, including garbage, which I have to admit is a bit weird. And the trailer shows a ghost being offered some nectar, followed by her coming back to life. So it looks like there's a little bit more than meets the eye here. And I, I would love to know which ingredients to make of the nectar to make that you need um to make the ambrosia wine to bring ghosts back to life seriously awesome and here is the show jumping and a lot of people by the way have talked about this ball here wondering why there is a beach ball in the middle of the show jumping training grounds i believe that might be a toy either for the horses or maybe for, for the mini sheep or mini goats so yeah, this shows you a little bit more of the stables idea there, and I think this is one of the ranch houses as well, which is pretty cool. Some of these lots on this world were built by Simmer and YouTuber Chrissy YT. She is also a member of the EA Creator Network. Her builds are seriously awesome. If you want to check her out, like I said, her name is Chrissy YT over on YouTube. Highly recommend if you love watching building videos, speed builds. I um, highly recommend that you check her out. So the trailer also showed us some of the new world called Chestnut Ridge that we'll be able to explore. The world, according to the Sims team, was inspired by the American West and it looks absolutely stunning. Now there seems to be three neighborhoods. There's New Appaloosa, which is the main downtown area, as you can see here with all of these extremely wild west buildings and walkway there and yeah very very wild west the riders glen neighborhood which is the ranch's neighborhood and galloping gulch which is a national park there's also a hidden world called dread horse caverns and this is a quote from the article where the adventurous can enter and try their luck at exploring now, I love all of the hidden lots and hidden worlds in The Sims 4, so I am definitely going to be on the lookout for that. The article also says that we'll be able to ride our horses into town, as you can see here, host or attend a ranch gathering with a cookout and dancing, and attend a ranch animal day where we can interact with the animals. How walking our horse into town is going to work, I'm not exactly certain, but we'll find out once the game is released. I'm, I'm certain of that, and I can't wait to try it out. But there's also a new dance style called line dancing, which is being introduced in this new expansion pack. This is a great way to get your sims moving, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm guessing that this, what I thought was said was a rug earlier, that must be the dance floor. And, and I absolutely love this. Uh, the idea that we can do line dancing in the sims now. We, we can do group dancing, but not actually, you know, country line dancing which is pretty cool i think you've no may have noticed all of these artwork and, and the designs throughout these screenshots like this backdrop right there that native american style artwork the official blog post mentioned that the f new food the home items and the clothing in the pack all reflect elements of native american culture and the Sims team is making a charitable donation to a Native American charity called Sacred Healing Circle. Sacred Healing Circle is a 501c3 nonprofit charity established to assist individuals, families, and communities to heal. The majority of their resources are directed towards programs that benefit indigenous and native communities through the use of traditional methodologies and practices. And they're doing this through seven different ways, through different programs, such as nation rebuilding, Native American horse preservation, elder to youth knowledge transfers, protection of water and sacred sites, sacred food preparation, youth children, women, and elder safe spaces, and storytelling, media, and journalism programs, which is absolutely awesome. And I'm really happy that The Sims team have not only employed a diversity person, you know, to, to make sure that they were giving representation in a proper manner uh, in this pack, but that, that, you know, they're also giving money to this charity, which is freaking awesome. And I hope that they do this again 
and if they release any future packs or like in the future with the sims franchise with the sims series i really hope that they continue giving charitable donations to charities like this and just being culturally sensitive and aware of, of how the how they're representing these groups so my friends if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe to the channel for more sims news and discussion and gameplay and don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you are most looking forward to in the sims 4 horses expansion pack of course there's a lot that we don't know about the expansion pack a lot that we've not covered today we don't know all the new features that's going to be included we don't know all of the customization options that will be available when the pack is released but based on what we've seen so far i personally think that this expansion pack is going to be a lot of fun as long as it's not another my wedding stories that's completely buggy hopefully this one this pack works <laughs> But in any event, I can't wait to get my hands on it and start exploring everything it has to offer. Seriously, can't wait. Right, that's all for now, my friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.